Yes, I think that, uh, um, I don't think that everybody should do that. So you don't have to do it. Uh, there's some continuous studies. It's still not uh, um, uh, uh, offered to, to let everybody do it, but it seems now that most of the patient, one, they understand the logic, and if cost is not a major issue, because it will, will add a cost of a few thousand dollars for, for the genetic testing, for the biopsy, you need to freeze embryos. Many of them, if the cost is not a major issue, will, and they look at the logic of it and the outcomes, will prefer to do that. Now, at the end of the day, um, we also now talk to younger patients, because we thought that actually, why won't let's do the chromosomal abnormalities, the older you are, the more benefit you will have. But then, the numbers of embryos are less and less and less that you can obtain, and the higher the rate of chromosomal abnormalities. But if you are young, even 30 to 35, now you may have five, eight embryos. You can go, still, you may have about 30 to 50 percent chance to have chromosomal abnormalities. So we know there's some studies that are done, prospective randomized studies, that shows that if you transfer one embryo that looks very nice, you may have a 40, 50 percent chance to conceive with one embryo. If you do the genetic testing and you transfer one normal embryo, now your chance to have a baby is 60, 70 percent. So at the end of the day, as long as there will be no new data that suggests that this does not work the way we think it now, and, and, and some leading center in the U.S., and we have the same experience uh, doing those kind of treatment, it also benefits the patient because we have some more and more data to suggest now that if you go for frozen embryo transfer, the pregnancy rate is at least the same and maybe even better. So now we can freeze, the technology allows us to freeze the embryos, do the genetic testing, and transfer one normal embryo and actually to improve the outcome. So altogether, this gives us the best chance to have a baby for the patient.